My name is Denise Evans, and I'm the qualifying broker with Butler Evans Real Estate, Inc. This video helps with the question, who is your tenant? A little bit about me. I'm an active commercial real estate broker and consultant. Call me for buyer or seller brokerage, referrals, or co-brokerage opportunities if you have a deal that's maybe a little bit beyond your comfort level. I'm a retired litigation attorney who specialized in real estate and banking defensive litigation. I'm a former clinical professor of real estate at the University of Alabama Culverhouse College of Business and a nationally published author from McGraw-Hill, Sphinx Legal, and Kaplan-Dearborn. Here's a representative question. This exact question came up yesterday. It comes up often, but the, it came up yesterday, which is what caused me to think about creating this video. Bob and Mary, husband and wife, rent a house. Mary moves out. She and Bob are never divorced. Bob renews the lease in just his name. Bob's mom moves in with Bob. The next time the lease comes up for renewal, mother and Bob sign the lease together. They are both tenants on the lease. They both renew the lease a couple of times. Bob dies. The lease ends at month end. Mom packs everything up and is making arrangements to move someplace else. Mary shows up, that's the wife, never got divorced, still the wife, actually now the widow. Mary shows up and demands the property manager prevent mom from moving out until Mary can go through everything and get her stuff because since Bob had no children and was still married at the time of his death, at least in Alabama, Mary is his heir if he died without a will. So Mary, uh, Mary wants you to stop mom from moving out so Mary can grab all the stuff. Manager wants to do the right thing. What is the right thing in this circumstance? The property manager's tenant, mom, is moving out. That's that relationship, landlord, tenant, property manager, tenant. Anybody else is outside that landlord-tenant relationship and completely irrelevant to the property manager. If anybody, such as Bob's widow, thinks they are entitled to the stuff that's in the leased premises, they should hire a lawyer and get a court order. It is not the property manager's job to do the right thing. It is the court's job to do the right thing and it's the disputants, the people who are arguing about this, it is their responsibility to get a lawyer to ask the court to do the right thing, but the property manager has no role in any of this except to attend to the relationship with their tenant. Here's a related problem. Ralph is the only person on a lease. Ralph dies. Ralph's sister, Susan, shows up and wants to move Ralph's stuff out. Can she do that? Well, technically, the tenant is Ralph's estate. Is anybody going to open probate and have an administrator appointed? Probably not, and that's going to take forever. So you really want Susan to move the stuff out. In that circumstance, I recommend that you have Susan's siblings. And if Ralph has a wife, Ralph's wife, all sign off saying it's okay for Susan to get the stuff out. If, you know, you can't get everybody, I'd say probably a low risk of anything bad happening. But if you let Susan empty out the rental property, but this is why you have errors and omissions insurance, malpractice insurance. So in case you make the wrong decision when you have insufficient information to make the absolutely right decision, at least your insurance will protect you if you get sued. Another related problem, Johnny is a student. He signs a lease for his house. His mom and dad guarantee the lease. This is very common in Tuscaloosa where I live. Two months later, mom and dad come to the manager's office and want to be let into Johnny's house so they can decorate it and surprise him for his birthday. Can you do that? And the question is, who is your tenant? Johnny is your tenant. Yes, mom and dad guaranteed the lease, and yes, the rent's probably being drawn from their credit card or their bank account, but Johnny is your tenant. You cannot let mom and dad in. You cannot give mom and dad a key. 
If this is a problem for you or you think it might be a problem in the future, simply write something into your lease agreement that says even though Johnny is the only tenant, mom and dad can be given access to the premises. Johnny signs the lease, you're good to go. Mom and dad want to be let in, you can let them in because Johnny, your tenant, agreed that you could do that in writing in the lease. Another related problem, who is your client? If you're a property manager and, and you just don't know what to do because you're getting conflicting instructions or you're getting an instruction you feel is probably not the wisest thing to do. This is the topic of another video, who is your client is the name of the video, so be sure to look for that. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions for other videos, please contact me, Denise, at butlerevansrealestate.com or call me at 205-310-3799 in the Central Time Zone.